It was Iron Felix, acting at Lenin's behest, who started to gather innocent men, mostly men, and bring them by night through the back gate of the Lubyanka, and then, six at a time, he would walk these naked men and women across wooden planks covering a floor that is covered with bloody, freezing water to stand up against six wooden doors that were inset a little bit from the massive stone walls of the Lubyanka. Each one of the naked, shivering, crying people could see the bullet holes right in front of their faces. The wooden doors were there to prevent ricochets from hitting the Czechists, the Czechisti in the local vernacular, standing 10 feet behind the people, facing those blood-splattered bullet holes, each wearing a leather trench coat, and each of them holding a Nagant M1895 revolver, an ugly little pistol that may just possibly have murdered more human beings than any other single weapon in history. 